Hello and welcome to challenge number five. This is going to be probably an interesting challenge for so many of you which are going to attempt this. And this is the new Planet Hex by Playground. So this was released by Vex during Hour of Code a couple of months ago now. And you can navigate to Planet Hex by, by, by selecting on the toggle up here. And then when you open up your new playground, you're going to have an environment which looks like this. And this little creature here is our VR Nano. So this is very, very different from all of the other Vex VR playgrounds. And what we are going to be doing here, and let's go back to our challenge document, is we're going to be getting our VR Nano to go from the red X position, which I've marked here, over to this, uh, or sorry, the green X position over to this uh, red X position here. Now, your challenge is to get the VR Nano to survive for as long as possible without getting killed by one of the enemies or maybe walking into one of the obstacles or by running out of food. So we want the Nano to not only get to this red X position, we want to see how long you can get the VR Nano to survive. Now, what I want you to do is give the scores and the level to your teacher and also post it underneath this video. And let's see who is actually able to get the VR Nano to survive for the longest period. Now, in uh, underneath this video, I put some uh, different links to the knowledge base from uh, VEX. So you can have a look at the uh, backstory here. But more importantly, these links are really, really useful because it's going to allow you to get a better understanding of how to detect obstacles and avoid hazards, how you can collect and eat food, and how you can look at these example projects which I had open a minute ago, like breaking food home, avoiding obstacles, breaking loops, all very, very useful stuff. How you can also uh, implement uh, this if you are not part of St. Andrew's International School or Steam Labs and you want to implement this in your classroom, this is a super useful uh, article here. And also how you can attack your enemies and go from level one to two to three to four and get your VR Nano to survive. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to scroll down on this link for attacking. And what we're going to be able to see here inside our playground, and I'm on the wrong link, is the different creatures which might attack us. So we are starting inside zone A, probably going to navigate over to zone B. And what you're doing as part of this challenge here is you're going to have to go across to this very, very dangerous zone over here. And you're going to need to try to get your VR Nano to survive. You can see there's some very, very interesting creatures over here in zone D. And where we are going over here, we're probably going to have to pass through maybe zone C or D. Or we can go across this bridge here, if that's a bridge, to stay inside zone B to finish. Now, in order to get started, I'm going to introduce you to some of the new features inside the Hex Bug planet environment here. So inside Vex code VR, let's press on back. We have got go to food and we can have go to enemy, go to home and underneath actions. We've also got some new blocks as well, which are not normally available inside the standard Vex code VR playgrounds. We've got food pickup, food drop, food eat, attack enemy, hibernate and going to sensing here. There are tons of new sensors that our VR Nano can use. So it can see it can smell food, enemy, it can see hazards, obstacles, and also home. So where do we get started with this challenge? So I used the examples to get me started. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce you to the different conditions underneath drivetrain, such as go to food and go to home. I'm going to set up a couple of different conditions here. So we're going to say here, if, let's get it to go forward first of all, and we're going to say if the VR Nano can see or smell some food, what we would like the Nano to do is go to the food, right? We want it to survive before it attacks. So we're going to say go to food. Now, if the battery level or the capacity here is above 50%, I think we probably want it to go to the home or go to its home before uh, we actually eat the food here. So we're going to build in 
a nested if. So this is a question within a question, a condition within inside another condition. And we're going to say here, if the battery capacity is less than 50, what we want the VR Nano to do is we would like it to do food pickup. And then we want it to, let's get rid of this, we want it to go to home. Now, if the battery level is, and I think our logic is wrong here, so we're going to need to switch this over. So if a battery level is greater than 50, okay, let's just switch this. We're going to say eat. And then if a battery level is below 50, what we would like it to do is we would like it to, and again, we'll fix our logic in a minute. We're going to get to pick up the food and go home. If it's less than 50, we want it to eat the food. So let's see what happens here. Let's see if our programming logic is correct. So we want the Nano to go for food. Now we want the Nano to go home. And then let's see what happens here. So this is the Nano's home. Now what's it doing with the food? We can see the food is on the VR Nano's back. So this is quite a good thing, right? Now, we also want the VR Nano to explore the environment. And remember, we want to get it to this red X position. But this is how we can firstly get started with our food. But at the moment, the issue that we have is that the VR Nano is going to keep going home. Now, moving on from the last part, what we're going to want to do here, let's just stop the uh, VR Nano from moving around. because it's got food on its back at the moment and it's in its home area. We are going to probably want to uh, adjust this program. So rather than deleting the code, what I'm going to do for now is I am just going to drop this over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably disconnect these if statements for now. And I think at the moment I am going to get the VR Nano uh, to eat the food for now. And then this will allow us to actually start exploring uh, the, uh, the rest of the uh, playground inside Hexpunk. Now, what we want to do here is we want to have a look at how we can start attacking our enemies. And we're currently inside the level one area. And I think this is area A. So area A and B, I think our enemies are probably easier to kill. So what we want to do here is we want to have a look at sensing again. I'm going to duplicate this last block and we're going to say if the VR Nano sees an enemy or smells an enemy, what we probably want it to do is attack the enemy. Now, it's not as simple as just attacking the enemy because the things that we need to consider is how much battery do they have? Or what's their capacity? What's their health? And how far are they away from us? And what level is the enemy? But for now, we're just going to test this. Let's get it to eat the food. Let's get it to see if it can attack the enemy. Now, at the moment, it's just going for food. And the reason why it's going for food is because I think we've probably forgotten the go to block. So I'm going to drag this into the second if statement here. I'm going to say, if you see the enemy or if you smell the enemy, go to the enemy. So let's see what happens now. So we're going to get the food firstly, and then hopefully we'll be able to see an enemy. And then it's going to attack the enemy. And you can see it's currently trying to attack the enemy, but it only attacked it once or maybe twice. So what we need it to do is continually attack that enemy. So what we can do here is we can consider putting another loop around this section of code here. So what we can do is we can say repeat until and then put this inside here. And I think it's just the attack that we want to put inside repeat until. We want to say repeat until and here we can use our mass block. So we're going to say enemy health is equal to I would say is zero. So let's have a look. So enemy health is equal to zero. Now, there are so many other things that we need to consider. 
and this is just a starting point for you to begin with. But let's just test this out and let's have a look at what happens. And let's make this zero and let's test our code. So, does the VR Nano get food? I think the answer to that is yes. Is the VR Nano going to go to one of our enemies? At the moment, it looks like it's avoiding the enemy. Let's close this map to get rid of the geolocation. So food, food, food. But it looks like it's not attacking any of our enemies right now. And actually, here we go. So let's see. Okay, so this is working. So it's attacking our enemy. And let's put on this. Let's see if the enemy is dead yet. Unfortunately, this is a level two enemy. So it's probably going to kill us first. So probably not the best example for you. But it is continually trying to attack the enemy until the enemy battery is zero. So the next condition we probably want to say, if it's a level two enemy, ignore that enemy. But let's see if it kills this level one VR nano. So let's see. So it looks like we're going to win this battle. And this wait until loop is working. So they're almost dead now. So we can see the health. And there we go. So this loop is now working. And you can see once we've killed the enemy, our capacity or our battery life is going to increase. But unfortunately, this program code is uh, currently just continuing to attack the enemy. So we're going to need to change this loop here. But hopefully this is a good kind of a starting point for you. And you now understand the basics of how to use uh, Planet Hexbug, um, how you can use some of these new features inside of Xcode VR. And hopefully at this point, you also understand the challenge that you have been set here. So remember, this is different from the instructions you're going to see underneath uh, the video. If you look at the Hour of Code links, you're not just trying to survive. You're trying to get into this territory up here and stay here, and you're trying to get your VR Nano to survive longer than all of your friends. So do remember to drop a message underneath this video and comment what level and how many days uh, you survived for, and also inform your teacher.